Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It is time. The VR conversion of Lexi's Guide. What do you say we just dive into it all, eh? Before starting the VR conversion, I highly recommend you finalize your mod loadout. I mean, you've removed all the mods you want to remove, and you've added all the mods you wanted to add, right? And if you haven't and need some guidance, refer to episode 41 to help you remove mods safely, and refer to episode 42 to help you add mods safely. And if Lexi's guide is new to you, start with episode 0 for step-by-step -step instructions that'll guide you from start to finish. Watch every video. It'll make me happy, and it'll make Lydia happy. Please support my channel. Subscribe if this series has been of use to you. <clears throat> The VR conversion will consist of several steps. First, we will remove the mods that don't work in VR and have no VR versions of said mod. Second, Skyrim VR unfortunately does not utilize the benefits of ESL flagged plugins. So sad, this would make things so much easier. So we have to bring the total plugin count below 254. Pure, unadulterated Lexi's guide has 500 plus plugins. We will do this by merging plugins. Lots of plugins. Third, we're going to remove incompatible SKSE plugins and replace the ones with VR versions if they are available. We are going to do this at step 3 so that you can continue to use Skyrim Special Edition to test and troubleshoot the merges that you have made in step 2. Fourth, use Skyrim VR Configuration Tool by Bilago to make Skyrim VR specific INI adjustments. Fifth, install Skyrim VR specific mods like Vrick and Higgs. Sixth, anything I may have forgotten when I made this intro. And with that said, let's get into it. Okay, the very first thing we're going to do before we start uh, pulling out the mods that don't work with Skyrim VR or have a VR equivalent of that mod is that we're, we are going to back up our load order and our plugin order. And to do that, this is what we do. Up here in Mod Organizer, there's this button, Create Backup. Click that. And then over here, same thing. Click that as well. Do not skip this step. You will be very, very upset if you don't. Then after you've done that, you can uh, access your backup from, from here. Click on uh, this right here. It's to restore backup. And take note of uh, the date and time here. Just in case you decide you want to make more than one backup, just remember this specific one. And it goes for the same here. Okay, then after that, let's go and uh, download Mod Organizer 2. Yes, we're downloading Mod Organizer 2 again. Uh, the link for Mod Organizer 2 is in the description below for easy access. So once you get to that page, go all the way down and download the, the .7z version. Download it and save it. Okay, open up your download folder. Open up that zip file. You're going to want to go into the base directory of your C drive. And right here, uh, create a new folder. And we're going to call it Skyrim VR. Lexi, or you can call it whatever you want. Go into that folder you just created. Create a folder called Mod Organizer 2. And then copy everything or drag everything that's in the zip file into that folder. Okay. Now close out Mod Organizer that you had open. Okay, so let's go and open up that new mod organizer that we just installed. Create a new instance. Well, this is new. This is, must be something new for the latest version of mod organizer too. So uh, let's go to next. We're gonna create a portable instance and what we wanna do is point it at Skyrim VR. It's not showing up here automatically. Let me see, show all supported games. Hmm, so there's no installation found from my Skyrim VR. I know I have it installed. But anyways, for you, if you have uh, Skyrim VR installed, it should automatically show up for you. But me, it's making me manually uh, point to it. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. There we go. Skyrim VR. All right, finish. And do you want the tutorial? No. Okay, then from here, go ahead and set up uh, Mod Organizer again. So for theme, choose whatever style you want. Yeah, in this case, I think I'll just go dark mode. It doesn't matter. Choose what you want. And it should already show it as connected to the Nexus, so you don't have to worry about that. But the thing we're going to do is click on the wrench and spanner here for settings, go into paths, and right now it says the base directory, it's using um, 
the Skyrim VR Lexi folder that we just uh, created. What we want to do is point it to the Lexi's Legacy of the Dragonborn one. So we want to go into the C drive, go into Lexi's Legacy of the Dragonborn, click on Mod Organizer 2 in this folder, and click Select Folder. So now it's looking at Lexi's Legacy of the Dragonborn Mod Organizer 2. So everything that in this instance of Mod Organizer 2 is actually going to reference the Lexi's Legacy of the Dragonborn uh, instance of Mod Organizer 2. And the reason why I do this is that uh, the tools that are used to uh, mod Skyrim can be a little bit finicky with Skyrim VR. So I prefer to set everything up as F I'm modding Skyrim Special Edition, and then I just convert it uh, to uh, run in Skyrim VR. So that leaves very little hiccups and usually just works. And so here, Manage Games is still pointing at Skyrim VR.exe, and then click OK. Changing the mod directory affects all your profiles. Mods not present are named differently, and the new location will be disabled in all profiles. Don't worry about this. Just click Yes. Boom. Some of your pro uh, profile-specific game INI files are missing. They will now be copied from the vanilla game folder. You might want to double-check your settings. That is fine. It's referring to SkyrimVR.ini. Click OK. Okay, now look here, it says animals merged. So it has all the profiles that we created with all our merges here. So we want Lexi's. Legacy of the Dragon, or Legacy of the Dragonborn, right, rather. Same thing, SkyrimVR.ini, just click OK. Oh, wow. That is so cool. I guess because it uh, pointed at animals first. Animals merged, and then we manually switched it to Legacy of the Dragonborn Special Edition. Everything worked out fine. The reason why I had you guys click on backup. Well, in this theme, it looks different from uh, uh, the one I've been using. But anyways, when we created the backup, the whole point uh, was to fix a problem that I was anticipating. Like uh, before, when you would do this, everything in the mod uh, screen over here in the left pane would be listed in alphabetical order, which we do not want. So we would have to restore the backup to put everything back in its proper order. But it looks like it did it for us. Oh, well, that's good. So for those of you who forgot to, uh, or who didn't follow instructions and didn't back up your load order, you're, you're good. But anyways, the whole point of this instance of Mod Organizer 2, we are only using this instance of Mod Organizer 2 to launch Skyrim VR. That's it. That's all we're doing there. So if you want, go ahead and, well, after we create, uh, after we install SKAC for Skyrim VR, uh, SKAC will show up here, and you can create a shortcut from that onto your desktop to launch Skyrim VR. But anyways, the whole point of this instance of Mod Organizer 2 is only to launch Skyrim VR. That's the only thing that we're going to use this for. All modding and tweaking and everything that we're going to do is going to be from the original instance of Mod Organizer 2 that we installed in Lexi's Legacy of the Dragonborn. And another thing. If you want to also play Skyrim Special Edition, you know, normal pancake version of Skyrim, uh, this is what you're going to do. Go into your C drive, create a new folder, and just call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Skyrim Special Edition Lexi. Then go into your Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn uh, folder, right click on Mod Organizer 2, copy, and then paste it into that new folder. Then after it's copied over, Go ahead and close out uh, Mod Organizer. You can go into this new folder that you created, go into Mod Organizer 2, and you can launch Mod Organizer from here, and it should load just fine. From here, you could launch Skyrim Special Edition. All right, let's go back into uh, uh, our VR version, I guess, or what we're gonna convert into the VR version. So let's go back into Alexis Legacy of Dragonborn, go into Mod Organizer 2, let's go ahead and launch it. Okay, let's start removing those mods. So the first mod we're we are going to remove is Easy Wheel Menu SSE Conversion. It's in priority number um, 66, or it is at least in uh, pure unaltered uh, Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn. And we're just going to deactivate it. Next up is Better Message Box Controls. This is priority number 78. Let's deactivate that. And directly underneath that is Immersive HUD, iHUD Special Edition, priority number 79. Let's deactivate that. It's not that this doesn't work 
but it doesn't make sense for VR, and I honestly haven't really messed with it. I mean, feel free to mess with it uh, on your own if you want to, but I don't think that this has a place in VR, so I'm removing it. We're also going to want to uh, remove Quick Loot, or uh, Quick Loot, which is too bad because that's a great mod, it's really cool. But um, it relies on address libraries for SKSC, which does not have a VR version, and we're going to have to remove that in step three. So, Quick Loot, goodbye. All right, next up, more HUD Inventory Edition, priority number 82. There's no Skyrim VR version of that, which sucks because that's a really cool mod as well. So that has to go. All right, next mod, Dynamic Volumetric Lighting and Sun Shadows, priority 171. That also requires address libraries for uh, SKSE. That has to go. It's too bad because that's a really cool fix. And then Divlas Skyrim Underside, which is also... Um, Reliant on dynamic volumetric lighting. That has to go. Alright, next up, 360 movement behavior. We're, we are rebooting this mod because you can't play Skyrim VR in third person, so this mod doesn't make any sense. So we're going to remove that. And that's in priority position 528. So for the next two mods, Quick Light and Quick Light Patch, uh, their plugins are actually merged into the miscellaneous merged plugin. So we have to remove them from that merge before we could actually remove these uh, these mods. Quick Light and Quick Light Patch, or Quick Light rather, just doesn't work in VR properly. It just acts really funky, and I recommend replacing this with wearable lanterns, which we'll do in, was that, step four? Step three, step four, whatever I said in the intro where we introduce um, mods specific to Skyrim VR. Let's go ahead and remove those plugins from that merge. So let's go into Merge Plugins Hide. Miscellaneous Merge right here. Right click on it, Enable the Plugins. Okay, here they are. Now in the Profiles, drop down and go to Merged. Uh, where is it? Miscellaneous Merge Profile. And there they are. And what we're going to do is, so here's Quick Light, and here's the uh, Quick Light patch. Let's drag those to the bottom. All right, now let's go to Z Edit, Run. Then from this drop down menu, go to Z Merge, Start a Session. Then scroll down to Miscellaneous Merge right here. So let's go and edit, go into Plugins, scroll down, and deselect Quick Light and Quick Light patch. Then click OK. And now let's rebuild that merge. All right, very good. Now we can close out of that. Then switch back to uh, Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn. Bloop. And then merge plugins hide. Right click on miscellaneous merge, disable those plugins. Close. Very good. At the very bottom, here's quick light and a quick light patch. We could go ahead and remove those now. Awesome. Okay, now we need to remove Violins, a kill move mod, priority position 724. Kill moves just don't work in VR. Let's disable that. Okay, next mod is Ultimate Combat, posi uh, position 726. With this, we're going to do something a little different. So Ultimate Combat has some uh, SKSE plugins that do not work in VR. And what we're going to do is we're just going to remove those. And the rest of the mod itself will be intact. So we're going to have Ultimate Combat, but some of the features of Ultimate Combat just uh, we're just not going to have in VR. Like, for instance, um, enemy NPCs won't dodge. It sucks, but ah, that's just uh, one of the compromises that we have to make with VR. But fortunately, we don't have to make, well, any compromises too many for me, I guess. But acceptable compromises, I guess. So... Let's go into Ultimate Combat, right click it, open and explore, click on SKSE, go into plugins, and here's the two uh, plugins that don't work. Um, you can delete them, but I don't know, I'm paranoid about just deleting stuff, so I'm just going to create a new folder, and I'm just going to drag them into that folder, so they're not going to be an issue. Ah, the next mod that we have to remove actually hurts me. Simply knock, priority position 759. It doesn't work in VR. Now... If we go to Simply Knocked SKSC DLL um, Nexus page, I'm right clicking on it, visiting on Nexus. We go into files here. You see there is a Simply Knock SKSC VR DLL experimental here. I've tried it, I've tested it, I've troubleshot it to hell, and um, it just doesn't work. So we have no choice but to just remove it. It's too bad. It's a very simple mod, but I love it. 
So if there's some kind of uh, modding genius out there who can figure that out, please let me know because I would really love to reintegrate that back into my VR playthrough. All right, serial cycle hotkeys, priority position 801. That's just uh, another one of those mods that just doesn't work in VR. But with stuff like Mage VR and VRIK, Vrick, we kind of don't need it anyway. So off it goes. Okay, and that concludes uh, the first step of this conversion guide. Next up, we're going to start merging. Merging like crazy. Merging lots. All right, if you go all the way down in the right pane here, you will see that we have 495 plugins. We need to get this to under 254. So, let's do it. Let's drop down here in the profiles here and click on manage. Click on Lexi's Legacy of the Dragonborn. We're gonna copy. And let's call this VR merge dbm space t c c and then okay close that out let's switch to that new profile we just created vr merge dbm tcc and now this is what we're going to do and i'm going to make this very easy on you we're not going to disable the entire uh mod loadout and hunt and peck every little plugin and master that we need we're just going to do it this way so, go down to Legacy of the Dragonborn Patches, official, priority number 787. Click on it. On the right side, you will see all these blue lines. These are all the plugins in this folder. We are going to merge them. With this selected, start from the top, start from the very first blue line, and control click all of these. Control click, hold down control and click them. Keep scrolling all the way down. Click, click, control click. Just keep on going. Keep going down. Okay, that's all of those. Now, do not click here again, or else we'll deselect everything you just clicked. Over in the left pane, click on interesting NPCs patch. Look for the little blue line. Don't click anywhere. Drag the slider up. Control click on that. Good. Indigo follower patch, Legacy of the Dragonborn, 790. Click on that. Go to the blue line. Control click. Marisi, that's right here. Control click. Legacy of Dragonborn Volkir Night Patch. Go to the blue line. Control click. Very good. Now we're going to also merge all the stuff in the Curator's Companion. So, do not click anywhere here to deselect it. Click over here. Boom. And look at this. A lot more blue lines that we're going to select. Okay, starting from the top. But do not uh, click on DBM Relic Notifications. Leave that one alone. Don't click on that one. So scroll down until you get to the first one here. And this is gonna be TCC underscore cloaks. Control click that one and click all the other blue ones here. Click, 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 click. Control clicking. Very good, keep going. Got some more and that should be all those. All right, having done that. Okay, having done that, go to the very bottom one, or any of them really. Click and hold, don't let go. And then drag, just drag it all the way to the bottom. Boom, there you go. And we are gonna merge all these suckers. Okay, so I disabled all these plugins because I want you to see how it affects uh, master dependencies. So here we have the flag. So Dindalod's effect is Z-Patch, Bash Override, Bash Patch, Lexi's Conflict Resolution, and so on. But do not panic. This is actually very simple to address. So for now, don't worry about that. 
So what I'm also I'm looking for are other master dependencies like Volcaro Knight consistency additions. And in fact, Volcaro Knight consistency patch. These two here, I'm gonna control click those because we could actually incorporate this into the merge as well. And I'm going up. And I think there's one more. Yeah, right here. Amulet to Skyrim tweaks and fixes. Control click that. And that should be it. And I'm gonna drag those down because I wanna incorporate them into this merge as well. The reason why I had you drag everything down that way, uh, the way that we did, is because this is the order that I want these to be merged in. So, we don't even have to rearrange that order. We just have to uh, uh, put these in their proper places. So, what I'm doing is tweaks and fixes, amulets to Skyrim tweaks and fixes. I'm bringing that to be just beneath amulets to Skyrim patch. And then I want Volkir Knight consistency patch and consistency additions, and I'm going to drag those down. To be beneath, uh, where is it? And I'm gonna bring that down to DBM Volca Hair Night Patch here. So DBM Volca Hair Night Patch is actually priority 458. Yeah, so I'm bringing the, these two to be beneath Volca Hair Night Patch. Okay, let's merge them. Hey there, JT from the future here. I just wanted to come back in time and tell you not to include DBM underscore false scar patch in this merge. Drag this to the top so that it won't be a problem when you merge. So drop down menu, go to Z edit, click run. Drop down to Z merge, start session. Create merge. And let's just name it VR Merge DB DBM TCC. And this is exactly how I want it named. Go into plugins, scroll down, start ticking these boxes. Hey, JT from the future again. Make sure that DBM Falskar underscore patch here is not checked. Okay, you can continue on with your merge. Phew. After that, go to load order, click use game load order, scroll down, click OK. Now it's warning you, and we've already uh, looked at them. These plugins require some of these things that we're merging as a master, but don't worry about it, just click OK. Okay, scroll down to this really long plugins list, all right, and click build. Lexi, stop cringing, this is gonna work, I promise. Okay, and that's done. Go ahead and exit out of here. Exit as emerge. Let's click on refresh. Or actually, let's go ahead and switch back to um, Legacy of the Dragonborn profile, actually. All right, boom. So here's our VR merge. Let's go ahead and drag it up with the rest of the merges. Activate it. There's our merge right there. And then merge plugins hide. VR merge DBM TCC, right click, disable those plugins. Boom. Okay, all right, and this is why I highly advised you to finalize your mod loadout. Because like, say you wanna rebuild a Z patch. If you wanna rebuild a Z patch, you're gonna to have to um, re-enable all the plugins that we're gonna merge for Skyrim VR. Uh, disable the the merge um, plugin here, untick these boxes, rebuild your Z patches or whatever, that redo your merges and blah, blah, blah. That's why it's highly advisable that you finalize your uh, mod load out before you start doing all this. But anyways, let's go ahead and run loot. Whoops, loot. Sort these loadouts. Let's see where the loot places that merge plugin that we just created. Click apply and then close it out. All right, now let's deal with these errors. Go into drop down, go into Rybash. Click run. Okay, after all that is loaded, go to the bottom and you'll see all the ones that have that uh, mass loot errors in red. So starting from the top one, which is Omega Kako patch is merged, click on that. And right here, expanding masters, this masters window so we can see what's going on. I'm sorry about the noise. If you hear that outside, there's like construction going on outside my house and it's really annoying. Anyways, when you expand the master's window, if everything is bunched up, just drag these until you can see what's going on. 
and we will see here what's missing is the dbm underscore 3d npc underscore patch here so what we want to do is redirect this to the vr merch patch that we created so before we could do that right click anywhere in this window click allow edits click on the box don't show this in the future edit ma edit and update the master list yes we do want to do that okay after doing that now we could right click on here change to and it automatically goes to the skyrim special edition data folder our the virtual file system rather but anyways this is what it wants but what we wanted to do a point what we wanted to look at is the vr merge so just type in vr and right away you'll see vr merge dbm tcc click that click open and then it points to that click save boom that one's done and we're gonna do that with all of them now let's look at lexi's lexi dragon more consistency patches click on that and it, this one's mer uh, missing dbm underscore 3d npc and dbm underscore ka so let's change them so oh look at that i clicked on it and right away it changes it to vr merge dbm that's good so now dbm underscore ka click on that right click change to this window type in vr there it is, VR Merge DBM, click on Open, and boom, that's fixed. Click Save. There, that one is sorted. Now, Conrex Accoutrements, that one's next. Click on that. This one's missing the KA patch. I'm clicking on it, and it's automatically changing it to VR Merged. That's good. Click Save. That one's good. Now, Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn and Mega, uh, Mega Conflict Resolution. Click on that. And let's see which one this one is looking for. It's looking for the DBM underscore mass, so we're going to go ahead and change that one. Right-click on it, change to... Type in VR, there's VR Merge DBM, click on it, click open, very good. Keep scrolling down, see if there's any more. Okay, that's it for that one, click save. Alright, now the bash patch. This is missing DBM KA. So clicking on it, I'll magically change this to, to merge, the VR merge, good. So now Indigo patch, right click, change to, type in VR, VR merge, good, open, very good. Let's see if there's anything else. Nope, that's it. Save. Boom. Now the bash override. This is looking for KA. Click on it. Automatically changes to VR merge. Very good. Click save. All right, next up, Z patch. This is missing 3D NPCs. Clicking on it. Automatically changes it to the VR merge. Scrolling down for more. It automatically changed several other ones to VR merge. That's awesome. All right, cool. Click save. And that ought to do her. Close it up. Boom. All of those master problems are, are gone. All right, but we're not out of the woods yet. There are some errors introduced from those merges, and now we're going to fix them. So go down to SSE Edit, click Run, and uh, load everything. Okay. Okay, no, we do not want any mod groups. Okay. All right, so the first one we're going to look at is Omega Kako Patches Merged. So in the filter down here, type in Omega. And there you see right there, Omega Kako patch is merged. Right click on it. Go down to check for errors. All right, done checking for errors. There were no errors in that one, good. So now let's look at Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn Consistency Patches Merged. So I'm typing in Lexi's. Right there, there's the Consistency Patches Merged. I'm clicking on it, right clicking on it, and checking for errors. And looks like we got one so far. All right, we have one error we need to fix here. So what I'm looking at is the form ID here for armor for this Dragon Priest uh, Dragon Mask Volok. So I'm highlighting that, pressing Control C to copy it. The form ID window up here, I'm pressing Control V and then Enter. And what is the error that we got here? So we're looking at Lexi's Legacy of the Dragon Consistency Patches Merged. And for some reason, it's uh, for a model file name, it's saying GM book the paper mirror. That is incorrect. When we made that merged, for some reason, it caused uh, that. <laughs> and uh, Lexi's Legacy of Dragon Consistency Patches merged. To fix it, this is what we're going to do. So here's our merge, VR Merge, Armature Alignment tab. Click on this, drag it over. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, and that fixes that, but it's not like it matters because it's all being overwritten by Konagorix Accoutrements Consistency Patches anyway. All right, so let's go to the next one. Okay, so the next one we're going to look at, Konagorix Accoutrements uh, Consistency Patch. So I'm typing Kon Rick. That's right here, Konagorix Accoutrements Consistency Patch. Yep, 
I'm right clicking on it and then I'm gonna check for errors. All right, and it looks like uh, it's a bunch of those similar errors that we just fixed. So let's go through them one by one. So let's go through this NPC, Vulcan NPC. I'm highlighting in the form ID here, control C. Up in the form ID, control V. I know this is tedious, but this is what you gotta do if you wanna play in VR, man. Enter. So let's look at the error that was caused. So here's the consistency patch. And under the worn armor, which should be skin Vulcan, for some reason it's referencing a cell. That's not correct. And it's actually carrying over to the Z patch. So I bet if we were to check ours for Z patch, we'd get that same error. But to fix it, this is all we're gonna do. We're just gonna drag this over, overwrite that, and overwrite that. That's it. In fact, I'm guessing that everything that's uh, in c colored here is probably having that problem. Yeah. So here it is. It's referencing a cell again. So I'm going to go through. So Vulcan is what we just fixed. So now I'm going to Ragat. And it looks like this error carries over all the way through Bash Patch, Bash Override, and Z Patch. You can see here. It should be the worn armor and it's placing a cell reference. That is incorrect. So if we were to check errors on bash patch and bash override, we'd probably get the same thing. So I'm just dragging these over. Just drag it all the way through. Boom. There we go. Don't worry that it's red. It's being overwritten by uh, the temple. Uh, the template flags are being over right, overwritten the way they should be by bash override and Z patch. Anyways, now let's look at Otar the Mad. Look at this. Yep, see? Worn armor, and these are cell references, so just drag it through. Go down to Volsung, same thing. Hevnarok. Very good. No problems here. Morakai, same thing. Very good. Very good. Alright, Krosis, same deal. And Volok, the Jailer. Huh. It's supposed to be worn armor. This one's actually referencing uh, a text, a page, a page of a book. Isn't that weird? Alright. Alright, that's it for um, Konrex Accoutrements. I'm gonna go and clear this out. Boom. Yeah, cl close that up. Alright, close all these up. Alright. Okay, next one I'm gonna look up is Legacies of the Dragon Legacy uh, Legacies Legacy of Dragonborn Omega Conflict Resolution. Okay. So I'm typing in Lexi. So I typed in Lexi and there it is right there, the conflict resolution. So right clicking and checking for errors. And we got tint layer errors. This has nothing to do with what we just did. And I will show you. For some reason there's tint errors in like even in vanilla Skyrim, like Skyrim.esm and whatnot. So I'm copying and pasting here. Enter. And you'll see here, Skyrim, Lexi, Z patch. Our VR merge is not in the equation whatsoever. So let's see what it's referring to. See tint layer uh, not found. So this is actually something that we could fix. I mean, I doubt it's anything that matters, but we could actually fix this here. We'll just drag it through. Well, even when I drag it, look, drag. Still says uh, tint layer index not found. What about manually? Nope. So anyways, don't worry about this. This has nothing to do with what we just did. So anything concerning tint layers, that's not us. All right, so that is now we went from Omega Conflict Resolution. Okay, let's look at the bash patch now. Let's clear that out. Close this, I'm gonna go all the way down. Where's bash patch? Right there. I'm gonna right click it, check for errors and what we got. Do, 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 do. Okay, tent layer. That's not. No, wait a minute. That has another. Uh, indigo necklace, muffled tongue necklace. That could be us. Actually, I'm pretty sure that is. So I am uh, armor here. I'm I'm highlighting the form ID for that. Control C, up here. Control V, enter. And what do we got here? So here's our merge. Here's a consistency patch and a bash patch. So we're worried about the bash patch. Well, so. Yeah, here's a cell reference. That shouldn't be it. It should be this right here. So, uh, armament, alignment. 
click on a tab here and just drag that over and boom the bash patch is fixed well that specific entry so what else we got uh we got a journal page that we need to look at so here's the book i'm highlighting the form id here Control c Control v up here enter and what do we got so here's our merge here's the bash patch inventory art should be referencing a page but it's referencing a sword a 3d npc sword no so we're going to drag the entry from vr merge langley's journal volume one drag it and highlight it cover that and that fixes that all right next up it's concerning indigo's bow so i'm highlighting the form id here Control c form id Control v enter and let's see what we got going on so, first person model object. In the bash patch, it's referencing an amulet. That doesn't make any sense. So, from our VR merged, we're dragging this over and copying it over. All right, so that's it for that. And looks like one last thing, it's a tint layer. I'm pretty sure that has nothing to do with us, but I'm gonna check anyway. Control C. Control V, enter. Yeah, Skyrim, bash patch. VR patch has nothing to do with this. All right, that's it for the bash patch. The bash override, let's check out the bash override. So right click on bash override, check for errors. And what we got, we have no errors, very good. And Z patch, I'm right clicking here, checking for errors. And with the Z patch, it could take a little while because there's so many entries. So prisoner, tent layer, tent layer, tent layer, tent layer. Nothing to do with us. Still checking, still checking for errors. Z patch just takes a while. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? Mandan Hilu NPC death item. That's probably us. And more tent layers. All right, and that's it for the errors. So anything with tent layers, that's not us. So let's look at Mandin Halu's uh, necklace, death item. So NPC, I'm control sing, are copying the form ID here, pasting it up here. Enter, and what do we got? Here's the death item. What are we looking at? Betrothal ring. And DBM, that's just weird. Wind and star. Yeah, so we're gonna drag this over here to fix that. Okay. Okay, middle eye. What are we here? Tent layer, tent layer, tent layer, tent layer. Let me look through here. Yeah. So with uh, the Z patch, all we're worried about is this one right here. Mandolin Halulus, whatever. The death item. Found an armor reference. Expected at a, a level item, and that's what we fixed. Is I'm gonna close out SSC edit. We're going to save all the changes that we made. All right, great. With that one merge, we went from what? 495 plugins to 417. Excellent. Okay, moving on. Okay, the next thing we're going to merge are all the patches concerning Lanterns of Skyrim. So let's drop down to profile here, go into manage. Like I said, Dragon More Special Edition, make sure that's selected. Click on copy. And we are going to name this VR. Merge LOS. Okay. Close that out. Then let's go down to that new profile. VR Merge LOS. Very good. Now go to Lanterns of Skyrim. Priority position 210. And click on it. Boom. Look at all that blue goodness over here. Okay, starting from the top. We do not want to select Lanterns of Skyrim uh, 2.ESM. We don't want to choose uh, Terminal Master Lights, leave that be. And let's start clicking. So click on CRF Patch, uh, Master Lights add-on, like I said, Dragonborn, TML, Campfire add-on, uh, SMIM. Uh, let's leave uh, Northern Marsh Bridges alone. Uh, that may, uh, I may, we may potentially merge that with another merge. So let's leave that be for a second. Um, let's see, Books of Skyrim, yes. Let's keep going. And then all of these. Basically all the Arthmore stuff. Alright. After selecting that, go back over here. Click on Interesting NPCs Master Lights add-on. 
then go up to the blue. Oh, it appears we've already selected it. All right, now click on Windhelm Brazier Replacer. Go up to that and click on that. Control click. There, we have them all. Now pick one, click and hold and drag it to the bottom. All right, great. Now let's create that merge. Go to the drop down, Z edit, run. Over here, go down to Z merge, start a session. Let's create the merge. We will call it BR Merge LOS. Go into plugins, go all the way down, and select all of these. Oh, looks like I accidentally selected Kelly's browse. Don't click that. VDF sees LOS, uh, Thermo Match Lights add on, yep. CRF and Windhelm Braziers. We want all those. Go into load order, use game load order, then click OK. Then go down to the new profile we just created, right here, and build it. All right, very good. Close it out. Go back to Legacy of Dragonborn profile. Excellent. Okay, at the bottom, there's our new uh, VR merge. Bring it up with the other one. Activate it. And let's go into Merge Plugins Hide. And right click on it and disable those plugins. Okay, cool. We are now down to 402. Very good. Moving on. Okay, the next merge we're going to do are all the patches for ELE, and we're going to merge all the trivial smelters of Skyrim. So let's create that new profile for it. So let's go up here again, drop down, go to manage. We're going to copy Legacy of Dragonborn Special Edition. Copy. We're going to call it VR Merge ELE. ELE and Smelters. So there we are. VR Merge ELE Smelters. All right, close that up. Let us select the, the new uh, profile. VR Merge, ELE, Smelters. All right. And what we're going to do here, instead of like clicking on it and selecting all the blue stuff, what we're going to do is it's pretty close to the bottom. So starting from the bottom, scroll up, and you'll see like a wall of ELE. So scroll all the way up until you see the last one, ELE underscore SSE dot ESP. We are going to skip that one. We do not want to select that one. So go down, click on CRF, and then Control click uh, all the way down. So Falskar, HR, Legacy of Dragonborn. Skip the patch AIO. Uh, Do not select this one. We are also in, go, going to include No Grass in Caves, Bring Out Your Dead, Dark Water Crossing, Dragon Bridge, E Tech, Riverwood, Granite Hill, Helgen Creek, Inigo, Lucian, Karthwasen, Keldar, KIC, MAS, Marisi, Oakwood, PCS, Soldier Sinkhole, TFK, Thunder Child. Whistling Mind, Windhelm Lighthouse, Worm's Tooth, the ELE Consistency Patch, and all the smelters. Okay, having selected that, we're going to drag them to the bottom. To the bottom, I say. Excellent. Now let's create that merge. So drop down, go to Z Merge, or Z Edit, or Run. From here, of course, drop down to Z Merge, start the session. All right, let's create that merge. So VR Merge ELE Smelters. Then let's go into plugins, go all the way down, and let's clicky click, clickety clickety click. So many plugins. Excellent. Load order, use game load order, scroll down, click OK. And let's go to the bottom. There they are. And let's build it. Great. When that's done, go ahead and close it out. All right. Let's go back to Legacy of the Dragonborn. Boom. Go back to the bottom. Let's drag her up. Boom. Put it with the other VR merges. Activate it. Merge plugins hide. And let's hide those buggers. Excellent. So where are we at now? All right, we're down to 370. Getting closer. Getting ever so closer. 
Next up, we're going to merge all of the patches for Obscurus College of Winterhold. So, let's create that merge profile. Let's go to Manage, Legacy of Dragonborn, Copy. We're going to call it VR Merge. Um, we're going to call it OCW. So, VR Merge OCW. Click OK and close it. Let's choose that profile. VR Merge OCW. Okay, click on Obscure College Winterhold, priority position 123. And starting from the very top. Okay, skip Obscure College or Winterhold.esp. Do not select that one. So scroll down and let's click on the rest. Control click on everything else. Lots of blue stuff to click on. Excellent. Okay. Oh, yeah. Do not click on OCW cell settings. Leave that be. Okay. Now in the left window, click on Obscure College and Winterhold add-ons. Scroll, scroll up to the one single blue line and control click that. Great. Now let's drag these to the bottom. All right. Then let's start up Z edit. Let's go into the merge. Z merge. Start the session. Create the merge. And let's name it VR Merge OCW Plugins. Go down, select said plugins. Go into load order, use game load order, click OK. And let's go down to that profile we just created and click build. All right, go ahead and close that out. Let's go back into Legacy of the Dragonborn profile. Go all the way down. VR Merge OCW, drag it up to the rest of the VR Merges, activate it, and let's hide the plugins we just merged. Merge plugins hide. VR Merge OCW, disable plugins. Boom, we are down to 354, so we need to get rid of uh, around roughly 100, 100 more. Okay, moving on. Now we're going to merge Miscellaneous College of Winter, Winterhold Tweaks. So in a drop down. Go into Manage, Legacy of the Dragonborn. We're going to copy that. We're going to call it BR Merge MCWT. So VR Merge MCWT. Great. Let's close it. Then let's choose that profile. VR Merge MCWT. All right, now let's click on uh, Miscellaneous College of Winterhold Tweaks, and let's select all of them. So control click. Friendly for all does the first one, go down. College Coup, Dead Dunmer, all of these, and all those as well. All right, let's drag them to the bottom. Okay, this one requires an extra step that we didn't have to do in the others. All of these that has this little treasure chest next to them means that there's a BSA associated with that ESP. What that means is we are going to unpack that BSA. To do that, let's click on Archives and let's find Miscellaneous College of Winterhold Tweaks. It's at the bottom, go to the very bottom, and then go up and you'll see it right here, Miscellaneous College of Winterhold Tweaks. And we're going to unpack all of these BSAs. And this is how you do it. So let's start with the first one, Dead Dunmer. Right click on it extract and then what you'll see is probably this but whatever you see you want to go into the mod organizer 2 which is under Lexi's legacy of dragonborn mod organizer 2 click on mods and from here type in misc and you'll see it right here miscellaneous college of winterhold tweaks select that select folder and then it'll automatically unpack those bsas okay let's move on to next with the next one Expedite to expirate, expirate, whatever. Right click on it, extract. And it should already be in the full, last folder we um, unpacked in, Miscellaneous College of Winterhold Weeks. So select folder and go down the line, Friendly Feralda, extract, select folder. Governable Gatekeeper, extract, select folder. The Augur's Admonishment, extract, select folder, so on and so forth. 
College Coup, College Coup 3DNS, uh, College Coup ICN, College Coup OCW, and Arneal's Appeals. Okay, that's that. Then we're going to go in here. We're going to open the Explorer. And you could delete the BSAs, but I prefer to just uh, save them. So I'm going to create a new folder. I'm just going to call it a new folder, no big deal. And then I'm going to select all the BSAs. I'm control clicking on all the BSAs. There we go. And then I'm going to drag them into that folder. So all we have are the ESPs here. Cool. Close that out. Okay, let's go back into plugins. And let's go ahead and refresh this. There, you see uh, all the little treasure chests are gone. And if you see a treasure chest, it means you missed it. But anyways, let's go ahead and merge them. Go into Z Edit, or Run, drop it down to Z Merge, start the session. All right, let's create the merge. Clickety click. V R Merge M C W T Plugins. Scroll down, and let's check these off. Very good. Load order, use game load order, okay. Let's go down to it, and let's build it. All right, let's close it out. Cool, cool, let's go to Lexi's uh, Legacy of the Dragonborn, right here, boop. Right, uh, let's first drag this up, activate it, then hide those plugins. Boom. All right, we are down to 343. Awesome. All right, the next merge we're gonna do are all these I want R&D for Kako patches here. Cool. So let's drop down, go to manage, copy Legacy of the Dragonborn, call it VR, merge, I, wa I want R&D. Click OK, close it. And let's go down to that new profile we created. Where'd you go? Yeah, merge. I want R&D. Good. All right, this is going to be simple. Click on uh, I want R&D, dynamic food, and shift click for worm's tooth. There we go. Bring that all the way down. And now let's merge those. Run the merge, start session, and create the merge. We're going to call it VR merge. I want R&D. Go to plugins, go all the way down, and let's select those plugins. Load order, use game load order, and OK. And let's swing on down and build it. Cool, cool. Close it out. Switch profiles back to Legacy of the Dragonborn, special edition. And drag that up with the other merges, activate it and hide those plugins. Boom, down to 337. All right, the next merge we're gonna do is for the TESL loading screens, tweaks and add-ons. So, go up into the profiles, drop it down to manage. Uh, Legacy of Dragonborn, let's copy that. VR, merge, and we're gonna call it TESL. Okay. Close that out. And let's go to that profile we just created. TESL. Boom. Click on TESL loading screens. Priority position 768. And let's select all of them, starting from the top. This is Dragonborn, add on main, and so on and so forth. Cool, cool. And let's drag them to the bottom. And now let's create that merge. Z edit, run. Drop down to Z merge, start the session. Let's create the merge. VR, whoops, VR, merge. TESL, plugins. Go to the bottom, select said plugins. Good, good. Load order. 
Use game load order. Okay. And let's go to the bottom and build it. Great. Let's close it out. Let's go back to Legacy of the Dragonborn. And go to the bottom. Drag it up with the rest of the merges. Activate it and hide those plugins. Disable the close. Boom. We are down to 3.30, y'all. We're getting closer. Getting closer. Now we're going to merge the patches for Lawbringer. So go to Profile. Drop down. Go to Manage. Copy Legacy of the Dragonborn. Copy. We're going to call it BR Merge LCO. Okay. Close that up. And drop down menu. Let's go to that uh, new profile. VR Merge. LCO. All right. The go to Lawbringer. Priority position 372. Click on it. Take note of all the blue lines. Okay, we are not going to select Radiant Blocker. Uh, we are not going to select uh, LCO Framework, but we're going to select everything else. So, control click. Clickety click. Okay, and let's drag them to the bottom. And let's create the merge. Z merge. Z edit. Run. Okay, drop down. Merge. Z merge. Start the session. And let's create the merge. And of course, we're going to call it VR merge. LCO. Go to the plugins tab. Go down. Click those boxes. Load order. Use game load order. Okay. And now it's saying that Lexi's uh, mega conflict resolution, bash override, and lootable firewood piles output have master requirements. Don't worry. We will fix those. Click OK. And then go to the bottom and build it. When that is done, close that out. Switch back to Legacy of the Dragonborn profile. Swing down to the bottom. Bring up the VR merge up with the rest, activate it, and then deactivate or disable the plugins we just merged. Let's go and run loot. All right, click apply, close it out, and boom. All right, now we're going to redirect those masters. By the way, if I didn't say in the previous one with uh, all the uh, Leg Dra Legacy of Dragonborn and the curators, whatever it was called, um, be a good idea to back up these plugins. Well, anyways, let's open up Rybash. Rybash, excellent. All right, let's go all the way down. Start with uh, Lexi's conflict resolution. And it's missing LCO Lost the Valley Redoubt, Leak Wind Bluff, and Cradle Town. Okay. Let's just start from the top, click on here, right click, change to. In this window, just type in VR and we're looking for LCO. There we go, open, boom. Next up, LCO Bleak Wind Basin, right click, change to. Type in VR, LCO, open. Moving on down, Cradle Stone Tower, right click, change to. Type in VR, LCO, open. And that looks like it. Save. All right, let's go to the bash override. And by just clicking on that, it automatically changes to VR merge. And it looks like everything else that we needed has also been swapped to VR merge. Good. Click save. Then finally, lootable fire firewood piles output. This one is Lost Valley Redoubt. So as we click it, it changes automatically. Click save. And boom, that was easy. Get out of red ash. Boom, there we go. Okay, when I was checking for errors from uh, redirecting those masters, I discovered some uh, errors that uh, I overlooked um, from when we uh, merged uh, DBM and TC uh, TCC. Um, by the way, there are no errors that resulted from uh, merging LCO, by the way. So let's go fix those errors that I overlooked. So open up SSE Edit, click on OK. We want to select everything. And this is a very easy um, fix, guys. This is no big deal. Okay. The first one is in Lexi's Legacy of the Dragonborn uh, Omega Conflict Resolution. Uh, right click on it, check for errors. 
and we're not concerned about the tent layers, of course, but there is a death item here. Or a weapon. I thought it was a death item. It's a weapon that we need to fix. So highlight the weapon form ID here. Control C up here. Control V. Enter. And as you can see, it's supposed to be a first person model for this dagger, but it's showing a shield over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this from VR Merge DBM TCC over to here. Then yes. All right, that one's fixed. The next up was Bash Override. So right click on Bash Override. Check for errors. And here we go. So there's something wrong with rag Ragat. I thought we got all of these, but I guess we missed that one. So Control C for Mighty, Control V. Yeah, I could have swore we got Ragat. So we're going to drag this all the way across. Connor Crooks, Connor Crooks, Accoutrements, Bash Patch, Bash to Z Patch. So this is the worn armor. And we're going to drag this over across. There. And then finally, just a double check. Lootable firewood piles. Check for errors. And there are no errors. But what I am going to do real quick is to check on these NPCs for uh, concerning um, Connorick's accoutrements. So I'm just copying this form ID here again, going back up to form ID, clicking enter. And let's see. And concerning this, I'm actually going to go into Connorick's accoutrements and right click in here, clicking jump to. Yeah, here's where I got. I could have swore we went down all of these and made sure that they were fixed. Okay, that is very strange. Looks like I reverted the changes. All right, guys, starting from the top. Vulcan. Drag it all the way across. Ragot we got. Otar to Mad. Drag that across. Volsung, same thing. Evnovarak. That one's good. Morakai. Hmm, very weird. Croesus. Volok. And looks like these guys are okay. Very weird. Yeah, like Omega Kako patches merged. Uh, the error that we fixed in that one is, is fixed. So Bash Override was one of them. Z patch. Let's check that again. So with Z patch, it should just be a bunch of tent layers. Yeah, and Z patch is fine. It's just these stupid tent layers. So something with Conorix accoutrements. For some reason, that reverted. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and close out SSE. These are all selected. Yes. Clicking OK to save it. All right. Now I'm gonna go back in and double check. Yeah. And this time the changes took. Huh. Oh well. Moving on. Wow, you know what? This episode is getting really long, and I can imagine you probably want to break about now. So I'm going to end the episode there, and the next episode we'll finish up these merges in our pursuit of Lexi's legacy of the Dragonborn and VR goodness. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.